The true function of a cheesemonger is to provide excellent customer service. But to provide great customer service, we need to make sure that we're offering cross-pairing items. Pairings not only you know, offer your customer a new food experience, but it's also important to get those sales up and increase your basket rings. The basic principles of pairing and cross-selling are likes with likes. For example, a nice nutty manchego with a Marcona almond, or opposites attract, something like a pungent blue with a sweet honey. And also what kind of grows together, goes together. So if you think of Parmigiano Reggiano and Prosciutto di Parma, great classic pairings. But the only way to really be sure what works is to offer your customer a taste. So let's jump in and just try a couple of these great pairings. We're good at that. <laughs> so we got some cheese. We've got some cheese here. And this it's is stinky. Sort of brie like, but sort of not. This is what's in the wash rind category. Yep. So all of these are made mm -hmm. to stink a little bit, to yep. be a little bit pungent. And they're always gonna be a little bit softer. Always have that orange rind on yes. the outside. So you can always you can always tell tell a wash rind by looking at it. And yeah, that stinky smell also generally means a certain flavor profile. I think of it as being very meaty. Yep. You hear like cheese people talk about these cheeses tasting like bacon or salami, mm. a little bit saltier. I mean, we're looking at texture and flavor, I think, going with this group. I mean, as with any style, there are milder examples and there are stronger examples. So I definitely think like I'm with you. The milder ones tend to be the youngest and the creamiest. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't even hold together. So we got to put it on something if we're going to eat it. What What is the cracker that you pulled and why? So this is just a what sea salt milk? flatbread. This is something to where I think these cheeses have enough flavor that you're not really looking to add a a lot more flavor, but more so just kind of have a vessel to take it to your mouth and have a little crunch, add a little texture. What do you think about I'll that? I'll share it with you. Mm. It's really good. That's awesome. The cheese is pretty salty, but this cracker just lets you taste the cheese and it's delicious and yeasty and salty. Mm -hmm. And I feel like any other cracker with seeds and stuff would. Yeah, I wouldn't go too compete. sweet with the cracker. Go savory and I think you get a win every yeah, yeah. time. We had a little bit of a mishap with a meat pairing in the brie family, as I recall. I tried to put prosciutto with brie mm. and the texture was off because it was kind of fatty, yeah. basically, and all just tore apart very easily. Mm. But we're back with more meat, which is kind of interesting right. because these okay. cheeses often taste like meat. So what's different with this meat from the prosciutto? It's, it's more like a, a salami, so yeah. it's not as kind of limp fatty and silky it's a little bit yeah it's gonna hold up it's heartier. got a little bit more texture a lot more hardiness to it and so what are you thinking like a firmer cheese with the salami i think this limburger actually with the meat could hold up kind of nicely yeah already i can tell that salami it's a lot harder to tear into rip into with your teeth yeah yeah but it adds a little bit more texture because of that yeah this is like a really rustic pairing mm -hmm. but it really works it's just well, this is your likes with likes. Cheese that tastes like salami and salami that tastes like cheese. And this is great. It's really good together. This is Limburger and it's a cheese that is German in origin, but made now in the US and Wisconsin. And when I visited Wisconsin, the sandwich that they like to eat mm. there, perhaps you've had it, is Limburger with raw onion and on like a dark bread, like a pumpernickel or brown bread. And it is like, put some hair on your chest. It's, it's a stout sandwich, uh -huh. you know. I always like to say it's for grown folk, yeah. but anybody can eat it. I kind of want to take it down one notch though. I want to go to this Telegio right here. It's a little bit younger, about the same texture. You can see it's still kind of firm, but the flavor, it's a little bit more yeasty and kind of mild. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking, what if we went with a dried fruit with this? What do you think about this apricot? Well, that makes a lot of sense. Actually, one of the flavors that washed rinds are mm. like described as having is being like stone fruit, apricots, or peaches in particular. So I'm wondering if we're going to pick up some of those similar flavors. I hope so. Again, as with brie, I'm happy you picked a piece of fruit and not like a gooey sticky. Yeah, that'd have been too gooey. That'd have been a gooey mess. Like yeah. you can still get the fruit and the sweetness just with the dried fruit. Yeah, and that works really well because the cheese really is really good. just about being salty and not so much about a lot of other flavors. You get like a sweet salt combo. But again, texture, texture, really important. I have another bite of that. And then we have the last, like most intense washed rind. So generally these start to taste like 
caramelized onion, mm -hmm. black olive, all those meaty flavors really concentrated. So what, what do you, where are we going? Let's break that up in our mouth with a pickle. Let's see if we have that, the salty vinegariness of the pickle yeah. can kind of break up the flavor because sometimes these cheeses can be a little bit fatty on the palate or still rich. Yeah, on yeah. The palate. Whew. It needs something to cut it. This one also has cream added to it. So acid does the trick. It's perfect. It cuts mm -hmm. right through like a knife. And this is like what I want a Limburger sandwich to be, only they use raw onion. If they use pickled onion, it would be an amazing sandwich. That's amazing because I kind of, I see what you're talking about now with the, the kind of meat flavor. Yeah. Where meat and pickles go well together. This little cornichon, this is dynamite with this guy. Yeah, totally. I think it makes the cheese tastier, which is to yeah. me the mark of a great pairing. We're still in the realm of creamy. We still sometimes need a vehicle for the cheese, something pretty neutral mm -hmm. and crunchy, but it's, Looking like washed rinds do pretty well with savory pairings yes. and really benefit from either similar flavors or acid to cut through that kind of stinky funky. Yeah, and if you're gonna add sweetness, have it with texture. Makes sense, all right. Onward. Boom.